Today's question comes from Steve in Oklahoma. He asks, I'm 72 years old and my wife is 70. We're both in good health. We have a combined retirement and Social Security income of about 140000 a year. We own our home outright and have no debt. We have about $100,000 in Roth and $1 million in traditional IRAs. Our Woo! wonderful, I know. Way to go, ding. Steve. Our wonderful financial advisor is recommending a distribution of no more than 4%. We're looking at about 5% to enable us to travel while we're able to. What is your recommendation on the maximum annual distribution? It's a great question. And they're in a good spot. And so this makes me feel better about saying, sure, 40000 versus 50000 on the distribution is what they're really asking, right? On, let's say, the million dollars in traditional IRAs that's going to be taxable. Mm-hmm. This doesn't feel like a big portion of the world if they've got, uh, you know, the 140000 income. So if the money is invested in good mutual funds and it's making, you know, average market returns of 11%, 12%, why can you only take out 4%? Uh, just fear, I think, is the main reason people do no, it. Why Inflation? would the financial advisor say that? He gets more money? Is that how that works? Possibly. Or possibly he is a, a financial planning limbing. You know what a limbing Ooh. is? That's an old school word. Uh, th- these are small rats that run in herds and follow each other over cliffs. That is the funniest One- way I've heard to describe financial advisors. And so, if, meaning you go along with the crowd. You go along with the crowd. You go along with the crowd. And you don't even ask why. You just go along with the crowd. And so you don't want to be sheeple. So here's the thing. That is a standard thing in financial planning, 4%. Because after inflation and after poor rates of return on the portfolio, you're still going to be okay at 4%. But by God, 5%, you're going to sink it. You know, which is completely asinine. This is ridiculous. They're going so ultra obviously, conservative here. Steve, you are smarter than your financial advisor because you have more money than he does. And you've done a better job than he has. So you can kind of tell him what to do with your money. Be real comfortable doing that. And, dude, if you want to pull out 6%, it's okay with me. I think you're going to be okay. If you want to pull out 10%, you're not going to destroy the portfolio because, dude, I mean, you're 70. Well, you're going to live to 170? You know, you're not going to wind this thing down Now's in 25 years. It. You're not going to you're not going to tear the principal up in 25 years even doing that. So you can be um, in a position to enjoy your life. And so I would suggest five, maybe six percent drawdown on this uh, if you've got it invested in good mutual funds that are giving you market rates of return. Um, and I also would suggest that your wonderful that's what he called him, right? Wonderful, yeah, those wonderful, were not my words. Wonderful financial advisor. Have a better, have a good explanation for why he's giving you these numbers. If you're getting an 11 or 12 percent rate of return, why are you suggesting that five percent is going to destroy my life when four percent does not? It's not logical. One percent is not life changing either way. Well, it's not logical. It's there's nothing. It's only based in that's a standard card you industry pull standard out of the file of in the industry. I am curious, Dave. Would you say what's strategically the best route to go using the Roth? portion first versus traditional in retirement. The traditional's got a mandatory uh, distribution you distribution take. anyway. Um, you know, the, the uh, at 70 and a half that he's going to have to begin, and so I'm going to start there and at least do the mandatory. Uh, the Roth is tax-free and will pass tax-free. I'm probably going to use the traditional. I'm probably going to go ahead and pay the taxes on it and pull out enough to pay the taxes on it before I touch the Roth and let the Roth continue to grow tax-free because it will pass uh, to your heirs tax-free as well. So that's that's the good news on that account. Good deal. So good question.